Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for It's a Wrap. I know I'm a couple of minutes early, but I'd rather be a few minutes early than actually late. Um, I had a surprise uh, guest come in, so unfortunately all of my notes that I was going to talk about are still up at the house. So let me see if I can backtrack um, a little bit. So unfortunately this week, Des was on vacation. She uh, very sorely missed, that's for sure. But we were able to um, pull it together this week and get everything done that needed to be done. But Des is definitely um, a key part of our organization. Um, let me see, what else do I have going? Uh, so we had some, um, a couple of different volunteers come in today, which was, uh, uh, today, which was awesome. We had a thing called um, Sunday Fun Day, and I know I posted this on Explore. I also posted this on Facebook to um, invite volunteers to come in and walk the dogs. So we actually walked every single dog on this property except for I think seven of them. So that was a lot of dogs that they took out. And what I did was I just paired them up with a dog, explained to them what I'm looking for as far as how to walk the dogs on the leash. Um, they walked them up from the barn all the way to the parking pit, back up the parking pit, into the pond, around the pond as many times as they want, and into the A field, which is off of uh, an area adjacent to the pond uh, that is nicely trimmed down. It's a great area, a wooded area where the people walked the dogs. They kept them apart um, from each other. Um, they ha used certain commands such as whoa and slow and walk on. So they were using a little bit of our training techniques um, and they did fantastic. They had a lot of fun doing it. Um, some people came and asked for uh, another dog and another dog and you know we had somebody who actually walked four dogs today which was awesome um, it took them probably a little over an hour uh, later on this afternoon we had another small little group come in and they uh, walked a bunch of the other dogs. Uh, they walked Sizzle and Jiminy and Larky were, um, and Bessie were also walked. So that, they had a lot of fun. It was a pilot program. Um, it's going to be going on every Sunday up until September 4th because um, I didn't want it to run into Dog Fest and we have a bunch of other events that are coming up also. So that is what we have been working on, our Sunday fun day. So that has been um, awesome. Let me see, what else happened this week? Um, no, that's pretty much it. We had, um, you know, it's, it's, unfortunately it is August. Everybody goes on vacation here. They take some time off. So we've had a little bit of a skeletal staff going on here, but we were able to make things work. Um, let me see, what else? So one thing I did want to address with everybody today and tonight um, is kind of the elephant in the room on what was Carlene talking about yesterday in her doggy daily. So I just want to address that and I actually have it written out and of course I can't, um, can't locate it. Hold on. One of the things that I've also been working on is the calendar. That's been um, that's been tough. Um, we've 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 got it probably I'd say 60, 70 percent done right now, which is good. I'm still working on a target date of Dog Fest to have it done and ready to go. Hi, uh, Carleen. I'm I'm just looking at all these. Um, all these emails with pictures on it that Carlene keeps sending over to me. Um, get your Dog Fest Spirit Sticks in as soon as you can so that we can get those all set up. Um, we're still working on some Dog Fest um, fun things to do. So we're still putting those together. We're going to be having a uh, meeting with the board in regards to some of the dog fest things to make sure that we are um, still all um, compliant. I, I guess that's the word. Uh, getting some other good ideas. 
And unfortunately, I can't find this. Hold on. So again, if you have questions, please, please, please get them in as soon as possible because it's very hot in this arena. Um, I did try this morning the camera in the puppy nursery and the microphone is not working. So I have uh, reached out to explore to find out from them if they can give me a hand on that. All right, you guys are gonna have to bear with me for a minute. I am looking diligently with this for this. Oh, uh, one thing I did want to add on here is that our Dog Fest t-shirts have arrived and we are working. Um, I know that I spent a lot of time the other day working on getting um, packaging set up, shipping it out. Donna spent numerous hours today also working on packaging. Um, so those Dog Fest t-shirts are going to be in the mail. Um, they're leaving here tomorrow on Monday and as soon as they can... Um, as soon as you get them, that'll be, um, you know, you, you'll get them, including all the other pieces. Um, if you ordered anything else, everything will be going to the same. All right, so I have found what I was looking for. So, as you know, we had an unusual doggy daily yesterday. All right. And this is going to be something that is going to be in doggy daily tomorrow, So, but I did want to do this on It's a Wrap tonight. Um, so I want to give you the backstory behind yesterday's disturbing Doggy Daily. So we received an anonymous letter that described how Carlene was seen dragging a dog across the floor. The incident was fully investigated by the board of directors. Um, however, since it was anonymous, we are unsure of the context. There was no video supporting it, the, supporting the claim, um, and the dog in question was actually completely unharmed, um, shows no fear of Carlene, etc. So, to, to me, this is just pretty much a, a hoax, somebody trying something, not sure. Since we have cameras streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week on the property, not much goes unnoticed. Followers are able to report the staff and volunteers every move and the activities of the dog and animals on the property. Viewers also reach out by email, phone, and comments. Most of these comments are benign and result in a genuine concern but a lack of understanding of the context. For example, we got a phone call the other night at 11.30 that one of the goats was in labor. Uh, that is improbable because all five goats are males. Um, but again, something that not everybody knows. Um, one of the nine puppies is being smothered by the Mother Dane. That was one of our, our emergency f um, calls. And since we only had eight puppies, there was no puppy underneath the mom. So again, that was just something, a, a reaction. And I get it, people are going to react to some things, um, you know, and it's better safe to be sorry. Um, and sometimes this commenting are concerning the horse on the camera, got her head caught in the door or a dog experiencing early signs of labor you know it, then that's fine if it's an emergency definitely contact us but the bottom line is that the board of directors and I take all the feedback very seriously and we investigate all the complaints that are coming through so please recognize that the power of social media is both positive and negative trust that the organization is hyper focused on the welfare of the animals um, and then other than that I thank you for your continued support and you know this is just an incident that was investigated there was no fault found and we just need to move on so we concentrate here on the mission I constantly ask myself if I do this how will it impact the mission does this go with the mission does it improve the mission etc and I think that everybody I've talked to all the staff keep the mission in mind when we do or say or type or send anything because if it's damaging to the mission then it's going to be damaging um, to SDP so that is all that I have I'm gonna get off my soapbox right now um, let me
go back to comments. <laughs> All right, Sam K wants to know what is up with Pete. Oh, Pete with a beautiful coat now he is absolutely gorgeous he has a potential home um we had some people come and look at him today who already have one of our senior danes um he does have to go back to the vet so they are going to take him temporarily um, they did not take him today but we'll be taking him probably tomorrow night um, for a few days see how he gets along he got along fine with their senior dog um, they want to just give him a few days to acclimate at home um, he is going to be coming back here to go to his next vet appointment they are still regulating his medication at the vet's office so he goes on the 29th they're looking to get him off that prednisone as soon as they can but it has to be done it's a slow process they're changing up his medication um, he does have some loose stool right now and that is being caused by one of the medications they did say that if he continues to have the loose stool to contact them and they'll switch out the meds quicker um, so that is up with Pete he is going to have a fabulous home it's just um, he ne just needs a little bit more time for um, the medication switch over and we can do it that way um, Indy Dunes wants to know is Pete's respiration um, being affected by his medication or condition I would say no um, they did a full workup they did a workup on his heart they did it on his lungs etc he's absolutely in great condition it is just muggier and harder than Hades right now um, so he he's fine he's a big time drinker though and I think that is one of the things that the prednisone also um, has him always drinking always panting and being thirsty so he just has to go out a lot longer um, Barb Barb V says you must be so proud of Keiko and Percy who were recently matched both seem to be doing wonderfully well with such a positive reflection of SDP staff and volunteers congratulations well thank you Barb he uh, both of those dogs are truly amazing um, I actually did run into Anna's parents and they are going to be sending me updated pictures of Anna they're also going to be sending me just a quick little workup on Anna um, Anna banana also and I did run into another dog just recently um, and I asked for oh it was Oz John with his service dog Oz um, he is doing fantastic and I will be sharing that I did ask for an updated picture of Oz though so that I can share it on explore with a current picture to see how great he's doing but that dog is absolutely amazing also so he's doing very good um, and Carla CP says we will practice our weight as many were worried after that DD now everything is fine here at service dog project on the other side of the river wants to know do you feel that varmin problem has been resolved oh lord i hope so um her city has called to you some called smart boxes to address investigate infestations in some neighborhoods we do have those smart boxes i actually purchased quite a few of them they are scattered amongst the premises we have fox um, pest control that comes on a monthly basis right now they will be coming more often um but i believe that knock on wood find some wood for me real quick um we have not seen a RAT in quite a while um, I know that they're probably out in the woods once it starts cooling down that's when um, we will be on high alert we've got traps we've got smart boxes we have everything here um, and we have buttoned up the house that was part of our kitchen renovation we had to remove all those counters to get to the walls to make sure that we had everything buttoned up from any of the rat um, rodent damage same thing with the guest house we had to go through there and we had to button up the guest house making sure that um, the rodents can't get in so I am really hoping that we have not missed anything but we couldn't put those count counters and cabinets back in because of the damage that was done to them so hence that is why we have a gorgeous kitchen in the main house now um, we also have some really um, the guest house is unbelievable so that is um, you know that looks looks like it's going to be again knock on wood rodent free so 
fingers crossed everybody I want everybody to cross their fingers because I really hope that we are over this uh, crafty wants to know what senior dog if you can say so the senior dog is miss sassy um, and crafty wants to know has the escape issue with Alexis been fixed no um, and that was something that I wanted to reach out to all of you to let me know where because I've walked it, other people have walked it to find out where is she getting out? Where is she going under? So if you have seen it, if you can send a photo with a circle around it, letting me know where is that little um, girl getting out, that would be perfect. That'll at least give me an idea because looking at the fencing, it goes right down to the bottom. There are a few small little areas, but man, if she can squeeze under that, then we're in deep trouble. Um, but it could happen. So I'm going to reach out to all the camera people out there. If you know where these dogs are sneaking out in that pond area, or if you can uh, get a picture, circle it, highlight it, however you want to get it to me and let me know. I'd highly appreciate it because yeah it's it's a mystery and crafty also wants to know how is moira moira is fantastic she has some more learning to do um and it's not just her it's also her owners um whenever they come and that's pretty much once a week that they're here um we we work with them you know he they tell me what issues moira's having and we give them a suggestion on you know how to fix it and then we work them into um, how to fix it. I demonstrate, or Carlene will demonstrate, or one of the handlers will demonstrate, and then they, they're they awesome. They're awesome owners because they actually will turn around and work the dog and work the dog and use that technique that we are showing them. They don't just brush us off. They truly care about this um, Moira. She's a good girl, um, but she's also a young girl, and she is going to try just going to try to get away with things of course you know what teenager doesn't right okay crafty said thank you for another great wrap you're very welcome crafty and i have one more comment cmk says she crawls under the gate so if you are referring to um the gate that looks like a bed rail <laughs> um please just quickly give me a yes no um can't see a nod of the head but uh, let me know and I will work, go over there as soon as I am off here to see if I can figure it out because if that is where she is getting out then uh, she's pretty slick that's for sure so Peppy says I have the poorest sound system on my computer that money can't buy <laughs> today's arena talk was excellent I could understand every word and thank you well Thank you, Peppy. Um, so the trick of this, as Chris just pointed out, is to stretch this cord as long as possible. Stand by a piece of wood so I can keep knocking on it. And just talk as loud as possible. And I shut the fans down. I ask the birds to vacate the premises. And they actually listen to me. Go figure. All right, everybody. Well, that's a wrap. Um, I've got to get out of here and cool down, but I'm going to walk over to that area now and see if I can figure out where she gets, um, where she's getting out and see what we can do to get that fixed. So again, thank you, everybody. Appreciate your time. I appreciate you listening to me rant. And that's a wrap. You guys have a great rest of the afternoon and we will see you later.